Hey guys, Jamie forgot to film an intro and since we are still separate because of the coronavirus, I was not there to remind her. So today her and Eliza and Levi are making some strawberry lemonade soaps and they are gorgeous and very summery and um, I'll let her show you how. Okay, what did we do first? You don't know. We put in our milk. Wait, that's actually really milk. Yeah, it's from Wildlife. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start by doing this one. That's our lye water. What do you know about lye water? Is that too hot? It's very hot. Let's mix it up. Why did you pick to do a soap? Why did I pick to do soap? Yeah. What do you mean pick to do it? Like why do I make soap? Well, that is a very long story. Hang on, let me mix this one up. We're adding in pink Himalayan salt. And then that. What are these? Goober nut. <laughs> Those are micas. And then I drop it back. What's this? The smell what goes in. Mm -hmm. The smell what goes in. I can always smell it. What's it smell like? some piping. Not with the pink color, we're going to use the yellowish color for the piping. Alright, we're going to start with pouring our pink. Nope, the, um, the piping is going to be a creamish yellow color, and then we have yellow um, lemon embeds to go on top. Ooh. So you're going to make two soaps? Nope, it's all in the same soap. Look, yeah. look at our little lemons! They're so cute. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. All of our pink is in there. And now we are going to blend in some fragrance. Let me move you guys over. We're gonna blend in some fragrance into this one. We're not gonna color this one at all, but it's going to be our piping. <laughs> just have to wait until the piping sets up a little bit. So I'll be right back in a second. All 
right guys, we are about to start piping and we have lost our helpers because it's a beautiful day and they would rather play with baby goats. I can't say I blame them. So we are going to pipe the tops and then we are gonna put these adorable little lemon embeds on the top with our pink sprinkles. I'm excited about these. The house smells so good. This fragrance is a blend. Um, mostly it is the same fragrance that we've carried before. Um, I usually make a lemon poppy seed um, with this fragrance, but I wanted to go with pink lemonade. It just felt right, you know? And I got these pink Himalayan salts. Um, and I've been loving my salt bars, so that's what we're gonna do. This is a much smaller percentage of salt in these, so they won't be um, they won't be as tricky as the other ones. I'm hoping that I'll be able to cut through them fairly flawlessly, but that's one of those things that we'll find out at the time. So the first layer of piping is much looser which is okay um we just want the texture on the sides and it doesn't really matter if it's all perfect i hope you guys are all doing really well, as well as you can with how everything is going right now. Um, we just got word that Evie won't be going back to school this year, which is completely understandable and also makes me so grateful for this little homemade business. I cannot imagine what you guys that are working and now trying to homeschool your kids after work and keep everybody quarantined and healthy. That is just, oh, the exhaustion level. I cannot imagine. Like, at least I'm here. So if I need to put business stuff on the back burner to help her with schoolwork or to work on projects, I can do that. But. You guys trying to balance like childcare and exposure risk and ugh, not fun. Very, very grateful that I get to do this and have this business run from home. And also that I mean of any business to be in right now, soap making does not take a hit with what's going on, whereas so many businesses are struggling or over, just like that, it's horrible. We have enough going on around here that they don't get too, too bored, I mean, it's still monotonous just being home all the time. I actually took Levi on a walk yesterday just because I had to run out to the grocery store for grocery pickup and Levi couldn't come with me and his sweet little face, when I told him he couldn't take a car ride with me, he was so horrified. And I was like, oh kid, you just need something to do outside of the house. So I took him on a walk right before bedtime, that seemed to help. Just add a little bit of excitement. Even the three-year-old is like, please get me out of the house. All right, this is my last of the piping, so I overdid it on that first row. That also happens to me a lot. not an exact science when it comes to trying to be 
even on your pipe air mounts. I could probably get more exact with it, but oh well. Just try to make each one about the same height. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands and then I will be back and we'll put the sprinkles on and the embeds. I love Himalayan pink salt. Um, and I think I might go ahead and make an emulsified salt scrub that will go along with these soaps. Um, Cause that's one of my favorite products ever is a good salt scrub, especially like when summertime's coming up all could use some exfoliation. I even like use it on my face, um, which pink salt is fine enough for that. You don't want to do that with like Epsom salt or coffee grounds or anything. For a cute little lemons. I don't know. Can you guys see these well? Let me see if I tap it. Oh, maybe it showed. I don't know. Anyways, they're adorable. Okay. So what I want to do, the only downside to these is they're almost exactly an inch in size or in width, so it's hard to get them in perfectly. So what we do when we make embeds, and that's Eliza's favorite part, she loves embeds. Um, and anytime she's on camera, she almost always has to bring up embeds. What embeds do you do? Um, basically, we get what they call melt and pour soap bases. Um, so a lot of times people will market soap as being lye-free soap, um, which is, I mean, it's a lie. <laughs> get it? It's a lie? Um, no, but really you can't make soap without lye. Um, so what some people will do is they'll market melt and pour soap bases as lye free. Really that just means some company made the soap base and they uh, melted it down, added fragrance and colors, and then poured it into a mold with a pattern of their choosing, and then they call it lye-free soap. Um, really, it's very similar to what we make. It's just we actually use the lye ourselves instead of paying somebody else to do it for us. So um, lye gets completely neutralized after the saponification process is over. So like right now, this soap batter is lye-heavy. Obviously, you guys see me put my lye in there. All the lye that I use, I actually mix it into a big um, drum. So I take the lye powder and then I use 50 pounds of ice and I pour the lye powder over the ice in that big drum and um, mix it all up at one time and then I pump it out and measure it out in smaller bits so that I can use it per batch. Um, so that's why you see me using lye water um, instead of the powder that most people are used to working with. Um, it starts out in powder form and I just take it from powder into liquid. So um, anyways, I take these melt and pour soap bases um, and you basically melt them like they're wax. 
um, and you melt them and add your colorants and your fragrance to them and then I can pour them into molds that are different shapes and stuff and put them on top of my cold process soap. So that is how I make these little fancy things that I stick at the top of my soaps. Um, I use natural mountain pour bases. There's of course, there's all different kinds. Um, most of mine are made with vegetable glycerin and various oils. fragrances and new colorants and if I've got to design the soap and then make the embeds and make their soap from scratch it's gonna take a while and it totally makes sense to me why soap makers wouldn't want to have to do that all the time I mean I totally get it I just think it's worth it to have a healthier homemade product well, I know it's We're gonna unmold our lemonade soaps. Let's get started. You wanna do this one first? guys we are going to cut these Levi let me get them lined up first okay sir nope 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 Ooh. Ooh. some of these aren't going to be perfect okay So this is the piece that I will use in my shower. Even that end piece is cute. Oh, look at how cute that is! Oh. I love it, Levi. Yeah. I love it. You love it too? when we're working with Levi because I have to keep up with his pace or else he will destroy something before I get back to it. Isn't that right? Hi, I yeah. it. I yeah. Open it up. Always difficult. As soon as I turn the camera off, I have to quick take these into the soap shed. And obviously I cannot take all of them at one stop, if I cannot take all of them at one time, so it's a very careful juggling act to try to get them into the soap shed safely <laughs> before <laughs> Levi starts to help because his help tends to smash them. Now these are ready for the curing rack, so we'll put our cutter away. We're gonna move these soaps into the soap room, stick on the curing rack. I have dehumidifiers running in there, 
Um, Levi is already gathering the end pieces. Let me show you guys. Yeah, he's getting ready to move them already. Yeah, he is cute. He's our birthday boy. Okay. Well, yeah, his birthday is before he school. Okay, okay, so we're gonna do that. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you'd like to, check out our website, our Facebook, or Instagram at Deer Bunny Farm, and like and subscribe.